Have a blessed day brethren, welcome to the Temple Mount Church of all nations in Kampala Uganda, built by the people and for the people, known as Kakanda Ministries headed by Prophet Samuel Kakandi. Come, visit Kakanda Ministries, let Prophet Kakanda prophesy your life, and it will never be the same again. Have faith in God, healing and deliverance at the Kakanda Ministries are free. Right here. This is uh, Kate and yeah, yeah, from UK. She uses a crutch for support because of the severe pain in her left knee and swelling of the leg due to osteoarthritis. See, the power of Jesus Christ has touched her. The man of God prays for her. Healing is going on for her in Jesus' mighty name. Brethren, watch. The floor she goes. The man, Jesus, be healed. She's be being, healed. She's being healed in Jesus' name. She has suffered with this pain for nine months. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Raza Pango, you are free. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Medikita <laughs> has been declared free. <laughs> Hallelujah. She's walking without using the crutch. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I am healed. I am healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Mark Itandiai. I am the region of Senegalese, but I live in the UK. The problem brought me here in Kakande Ministry is very chronic uh, arthritis and difficulty walking and back pain. I have this problem from 2005. And last year, I go for knee replacement on the 17th of October. And now, when Prophet pray for me now, I feel in much better. I can walk, I can bend. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, well oh. See what Jesus has done for her. She's walking freely, not using the crash anymore. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I can walk. I can walk. Remember. Thank you, Jesus. She's walking freely. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Sit. So is this gentleman to you? He's my husband. Oh, you're welcome, sir. Here. Yeah? My daughter, here. Brother Mr. Lucky, and Nico from United Kingdom, he has got bad dreams for 20 years. Receiving the deliverance in Jesus' name. He wants to get financial breakthrough. The Lord Jesus Christ is setting him free. This is your daughter. She's being set free in Jesus' name from this allergy. She's allergic to cold weather since birth. With the spirit of anger for eight years. Thank you, Jesus, for her freedom. The 19 years of pain in the life of Lady Kata from the UK was totally put to an end after the prayer by the man of God Prophet Samuel Kakande. The following day, she came back glorifying God, rejoicing for her wonderful healing. Be blessed as you listen to her testimony.
listen to this wonderful testimony. My name is Marketa Njai. I come from Senegal, but I live in UK. The problem brought me here in Kakande Ministry is because I have problem with working for the arthritis I'm suffering for 19 years from 2005. The pain start always, always going and coming. I couldn't walk, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't bend, I couldn't cook for my family, I couldn't do anything. And that time, my lovely daughter, she is just uh, four years and, fi and five months. I don't have anybody to help me. My husband needs to go work. And then one day, I say my husband, I know gonna say again with this pain, sitting at home, I need to do something. Then we go together to see the doctor. And then when I come to see the doctor, the doctor sent me to hospital to do the scan. Then he told me this problem is happening for everybody. Just saying with the painkiller and the cream I give you to rub it in the nail. And that I do. But with the time, that cannot help me. And the pain come more and more and more and I come like somebody paralyzed because when I walk, I walk with difficulty and I hit sit down because when I raise up, I have more pain and my back start paining me and he start uh, affecting my other knee, and then I don't know what to do. I go back again, see the doctor. And he told me, singing with the painkiller because for the painkiller he gave me, I start taking ways. I start now I, I lose little ways, but before the ways I have even I can stand up alone. When my daughter talked to me, I come angry. My husband, no anybody is safe behind me. Always I ha I fight everybody at home. Even to cook, it come very big challenge for me. With this crushes, I can no walk. I cannot do anything. I cannot sit. Always I have to call my daughter to hold in me to walk up or my husband. Even to claim upstairs to my room. That is very big problem for me. You can see here is the operation I have in the knee. And you see the iron he put inside and the plastic. And that is very painful. And this is my medical report from Nottingham City Hospital. Here on the screen, we're looking at this medical report from Nottingham University Hospitals, City Hospital Campus, from the orthopedic department, that's in the UK. It's a medical report for Lady Ma Ndiaye. This is where she went, and the doctors are informing us that she was complaining and struggling with pain in her left knee since the injury that she got dated back in the year 2005. And in spite of the treatment, at the time the pain became so worse and unbearable such that she was struggling to walk around. Here we are being informed that when they took x-rays of her, the x-ray showed that she has got significant degenerative changes and fragmentation of the lateral femoral condyle. This was pointing to osteoarthritis affecting her left knee. And because of these complications, she was listed for left total knee replacement, which as per her explanation, she underwent all this under the care of Mr. J. France and Mr. M. Hatton, the consultant orthopedic surgeon in the UK. And you can see the operation and what he, he put inside my, my nail is that I have now to work with. And this is the medication I take before. It's uh, levoturidics. I have 125. It's for the thyroid. I need to take that because when I stop taking them, I have a lot of fatigue in my body. I couldn't work very well. I always tired, and yeah, that is the reason the doctor gave me this medication to take it. Even this, this one, you need to work with these crushes because you have chronic arthritis. We cannot do anything with that. You need to work with them. And one day, I'm just sitting in the living room, 
When I on the TV, I see prophet praying for one lady. She come from U.S. And I start watching. And I say, what going on here? I start watching. And I see the lady. She have the same problem I am suffering. And then I start watching. I see how the prophet pray for her. And when she fell, she wake up. I see her running. When my husband come, I told him, look what I see today in the TV. I show him and he told me, wow, it's the place we need to go. I say, yes, I'm very lucky on Saturday when I came here, the man of God pray for me. When he pray for me and when I fell, I just wake up and I feel in big freedom in my, in my body and my leg, no more pain in my back, no more pain in my leg, no more pain anyway. I run in like a small baby. Yeah, you can see how I walk very fast. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. And you can see how I run. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You can see how I bend, how I stand up. I no more have pain in my back. I can raise up the leg. You see, I can do things I can do before. Put the leg here and bend. Wow. I can sit. I can raise up. I am delivered. These things, I'm going to take it to devil and give him to walk with. And it's me now going to follow him to laugh the way he's laughing for me before, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for my deliverance, my healing. Thank you, Prophet Kakande, to pray for me. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. <laughs> the man behind me is my lovely husband. I'm going to pass him to say something. My name is Loki Aniko Igbeneweka Agbogidi. I am from United Kingdom, but originally, precisely from Nigeria. The woman standing beside me is my lovely wife, and the young lady standing beside me is my daughter. She has said it all. It happens like that. She's been going through difficulties in working for so many years, and she's been facing a lot of challenges. Difficulty in walking, and she got arthritis in her hands and in her fingers and her leg. But she find it difficult to do a household work. Me and my daughter help her to do the housework, the cleaning, the shopping. And she was at home for many months without working. She was always sad. One day, I came back home. She told me, come. She's been watching this man of God. I said, who is the man of God? He said, come and see for yourself. We sat down together. We were watching the telly. We saw the man of God, the vessel of the Almighty, senior prophet Samuel Kakande. We said to ourselves, why can't you get your healings, your deliverance from this man of God? But we have been to so many places or to no avail, there is no solution. We have spent a lot of money. So we decided to plan our journey, our trip to Uganda. We registered on Saturday. We were being positioned on the prayer line for the man of God. But for God be the glory, the man of God located her and she became walking. And we were amazed. We are surprised because we haven't seen her in that situation, walking freely, jumping, running. She has never run for a very long time. We say we'll give God the glory. Uh, with all my heart, I have never been happy 
so well like this in my life, seeing people who loves you, more especially I just want to give thanks from the bottom of my heart to the man of God, the true vessel of the Almighty, the God sent into this nation to deliver souls from the kingdom of darkness and to set those that are in bondage free because it's not by power, it's not by mind. He has been choosing and he is the choosing one of God to save souls. I have never seen a man of God like this. It's not easy to see a man of God like this. He's a cheerful giver. He cares for people and is very humble. And is a humble, real true servant of God. May God uplift you, give you the capability, the capacity, empower you, enable you, send the Holy Spirit to give you more power to deliver souls and to cast out demons in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. My name is Samantha. The two people standing next to me is my mom and my dad. And we come from England. What they're saying is true. They basically summed up the whole story. Uh, for many years, my mom's been suffering with pain in her knee and her back. Um, and over the years, it's gone progressively worse to the point where sometimes she couldn't take me to school, to, couldn't take me to school, and things like that. Um, last year, um, she, we finally said the pain is enough. She can't keep going through this, and she went through knee replacement surgery. Thankfully, the surgery was successful, and we thought after recovery, everything would be fine. But after that, her pain just got worse. She started needing crutches to walk around. Both me and my dad had to help her out and give her more support. Um, and she became very sad, always crying, always in pain, wake up in the middle of the night in pain. Um, and obviously, it hurt me and my dad because we couldn't do anything to help her. After that, Kakande Ministries played in my house every day, morning to night. In the morning, wake up, Kakande Ministries. I come back from school, Kakande Ministries, before I go to bed, Kakande Ministries. Um, once we come here on Saturday, thankfully, um, she was in the prayer line and Prophet prayed for her. Um, she fell on the floor. After when I spoke to her, she said she felt relief, she felt freedom. Um, we went to the bathroom and she was running and squatting and bending and jumping in the corridor. I, it was just, I had never seen her like that. I just started laughing. I didn't know what to do. Um, <laughs> but I just want to thank Prophet Kakande for praying over her and for God for delivering her and for all the blessings and healing that he's given our family. And yeah, just praise God. I'm going to send a message for my people from Senegal. Femom kakande minister la. Bo ame lule meti wala satank meti la wala saloko meti la wala nga am febar bu meti bo nyewe fi yalla dina la fait. Amul dara lo khamni yalla munu lo ka fait. Te mangi ni legi werna munna doh munna daw munna def lumanek munna tok in Jesus name. Solo quiero decir una cosa a los españoles porque estamos aquí hoy en Cacande Ministry y sabemos que este sitio, cuando vienes aquí hay algo que te duele. No tiene que tener miedo, no tiene que correr, no tiene que decir, oh, no voy a ir ahí porque no voy a recibir mi, 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 mi deliverance. Vas a tener todo lo que Dios tiene por ti y vas a salir in, in este captive que tienes in tu cuerpo. My people in UK to say, look at me now in the TV. Those look at me and see, oh, this woman, she is finished. You're gonna see me back with the glory of Almighty. I am the winner. And I receive my healing and I come back very strong more than before. In Jesus' name. Je suis là aujourd'hui parce que c'est Dieu qui m'a envoyé ici. 
Et quand je, je suis venu ici, je ne pouvais pas marcher, je ne pouvais pas s'asseoir, je ne pouvais pas faire rien. Mais je suis venu avec des crochets. Mais regarde-moi maintenant, je, je, even, je, je, euh, avec mes, ma, ma fille et mon, mon mari, quand je suis venu ici, ils m'ont dit, oh, regarde comment tu marches. Mais je suis là, je peux courir, je peux s'asseoir, je peux bouger, je peux faire tout ce que je veux. Et je suis complètement guéri, in Jesus' name. <laughs> Glory and honor, go back to Jesus. Bless me the name of the healer, Jesus Christ. Come, visit Kakonda Ministries. Let Prophet Kakonda prophesy your life and it will never be the same again. Have faith in God, healing and deliverance at the Kakonda Ministries are free.